Continue from the previous lesson or open the file Chapter 3 Facade Bevel Profile 04.max. We're going to learn to stack modifiers to make combinations for editing objects that provides for a flexible workflow. We'll start with a new 2D shape. In the main toolbar, click the Select by Name option. In the Select from Scene dialog, click the Light Pole underscore Base object, then click OK. In order to find this object, we can use the Zoom Extents All selected in the lower right navigation area. Click on it. Make sure it's the green icon and not the white one. This will zoom all viewports to our selected object, which in this case is the two-dimensional shape that we're using as the base of our light pole. In the Command Panel, click over to the Modify tab. We're going to add several modifiers. When we do, we're not going to get an acceptable result using the default settings. But we'll add the modifiers first, and then we'll make changes once the modifiers have been placed in the modifier stack. We'll edit each modifier as necessary to create a reasonable looking light bulb. The first modifier, Extrude, will turn our shape into a 40 foot tall 3D object. Click the modifier list, then scroll down until you find the Extrude modifier. Now, in the Modify panel, Parameters Rollout, enter 40 into a mount, then press Enter. That will extrude the shape into a 40 foot long hexagonal pole. Click Zoom Extents All selected again to zoom the viewports so that we can see our light pole. The second modifier we're going to add is called G Poly. This modifier will convert the editable poly into an internal polygon object. This results in a speed improvement when deforming the object using modifiers like Bend. On top of this modifier, we'll add a Bend modifier. Again, expand the modifier list, choose Bend, and in the Parameters Rollout, enter 90 into the Angle field and press Enter. Now, this doesn't exactly bend the way we would expect. Remember, I told you that we'll be adding these modifiers and we may not get the results we're expecting using the default settings. The reason this does not bend properly is because there's currently only one segment making up our light pole from the bottom to the top. If you think about a wooden pencil, it's a solid piece, and trying to bend it is not possible without breaking it. Don't worry about this right now, we'll fix this issue later. Then, we'll add one more modifier that will taper the pole. In the modifier list, scroll down and select the taper modifier. In the Taper Parameters Rollout, set the amount to minus 0.5 and press Enter. This causes our light pole to be distorted a little bit more. Again, it doesn't look like a bent light pole. Just a note, the taper amount is not a distance amount, it's a percentage amount. In this case, we're telling the taper to be half its original size at the top of the taper modifier. We have applied a modifier on top of a modifier on top of a modifier. However, we have not yet achieved an acceptable result. But that's okay. Press Ctrl S on the keyboard to save the file. 